Hey guys, Matt Gunn here for rcgroups.com. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this video review. And on the table here in front of me are Hobby King's Marine series of boats. These are the only two currently in production right now in their Marine series. This is the Relentless V2 Catamaran and you have the Great Scott Deep V over here. Now both use identical power systems. They use identical running gear, identical props. They use the same uh, battery setups. The only thing difference, the only difference between the two of them is the hull shape. And uh, what I'll do is show you real quickly each boat and then we'll go out to the lake and test them. And as always, you can see the full review on rcgroups.com and we'll put the link to the review in the video on YouTube. So let's go ahead and take a look at Relentless V2. All right, taking a look at Relentless V2, it is an all ABS hull that is painted red on the outside and then clear coated over so the stickers will not peel up. It has a great finish on it. And then if we take off the hatch here by turning this uh, latch on the back, we can see that there is a foam gasket all the way around that when the hatch is down, it prevents any water from coming in. So the only water you're going to get in the hull, even if you flip, is really from the stuffing tube, which is sort of uh, natural with these boats. You, you get a little bit of water up the stuffing tube and that happens from time to time. So looking at the interior, we can see the layout is actually this, this uh, plastic tray for the electronics is bolted to the hull. And you can see the six uh, screws right here that hold the tray in. And on either side, we have a place for a 2S4000 in series for 4S4000. Now you really can't run anything bigger. It won't fit and anything smaller, you're just not doing justice. The boat is balanced very well with a pair of, of 4S, uh, excuse me, with a pair of 2S 4000s. Now this, the motor here is the same on both boats. You have a uh, 2815 Outrunner and it's water cooled here on this jacket. And then that goes, uh, gets power from the 60 amp water cooled ESC. Now the receiver and batteries and transmitter are not included with either boat and I've used a Hobby King Futaba orange uh, receiver and it comes in this uh, with this balloon here so you can put the balloon and keep the water out. Now the, the steering servo is a high torque. I would assume that it is uh, um, plastic gear and, and just by the way it moves it's not metal gear and you really don't need it. A uh, Metal Gear Servo for this one. So out back we have an alloy rudder. Let's put this down over here. We have a uh, aluminum alloy rudder and then a plastic rudder standoff as well as a plastic uh, strut and then a bronze propeller that has been looks like chrome coated or chrome plated. So it's a it's a good setup, a good fast boat, handles extremely well in the water which you'll see in the video and uh, I, I can't say enough good things, especially for around 150 bucks, depending on what Hobby King warehouse you're going through. The Relentless V2 is a great performing boat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Scott Free Deep V. So here we have the Scott Free Deep V from Hobby King Marine. Same boat setup as the Relentless, same running gear, same electronics, just very different hull. So we'll take off the back of the hatch and it hooks in the front the exact same way with this uh, stainless steel fastener up front and then you bolt it down. Water stays out with the foam gasket here. Identical setup, it is the 2815 Outrunner 60 amp ESC. Um, we have a steering servo that is high torque. This one is, is orange instead of, uh, I assume they're the same ones, just different color uh, servo case. And like I said before, no radio gear and no batteries are included. So let's take both boats out to the lake and test them. And like I said earlier, you can see the full written review with full performance uh, information on rcgroups.com and I'll have that link in the YouTube video. Stay tuned.
Thank you.